Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. And here, here we go. I, I know you get the R. Kelly question a lot. How do you know? How did you know R. Kelly? How did that whole thing come about? That my nigga, man. Uh, I know R. Kelly through Devon Stevens, which was his okay. manager. So Devon Stevens uh, managed me. R. Kelly, Akon, and Lady Gaga. Okay. All at the same time. We was his four artists. Um, I was doing some writing for R. Kelly. I was doing some writing, for, a lot of writing for Akon. And um, he basically just threw me in the mix with them. He was already managing them. Okay. And he was like, man, this, this kid is great. Y'all need to fuck with him. And me and Kelly met. We stayed in the, our, uh, Devon moved me into the house. Which was actually the same house out that, that they was talking about that Whoa. shit. You feel me? Yeah. But the house so huge, bro. It had an indoor basketball court. It had an east wing, west wing. I was on one wing. He was on one wing. Or Kelly, a real private person. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the type of shit. Like to get to his side of the house is double doors and a security guard at that bitch. No cap. He came to my side at night when it's time to hoop or when you just want to hear my music or show me some song, a song he wrote for me. Like, he wrote me songs. I wrote him songs. Like, we used to, I got a whole album with R. Kelly, bro. Whoa. No bullshit. That's dope. Yeah. And and so, Boosie made a statement. He was like, uh, R. Kelly, you know, <coughs> nigga need to really, really just, you know, get off R. Kelly. He just liked them young hoes. Or something. Young bitches is what he said. Boosie, my nigga, man. <laughs> my I ain't gonna lie to that you. That was on glad. But I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I just got to keep it all the way a thousand. Bro, I, hear I, I was around that shit, bro. Man, listen, everything that around that motherfucker, one thing for sure I can't say, man, everything I seen was voluntary. Okay. I ain't no, wasn't no, you feel me? I got I got a mama, bro. I got sisters, bro. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, bro. I don't give a fuck who you is, my nigga. Like, you feel me? We stand mm -hmm. up for our women, especially yeah. our black women. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And more than that, like, my mama used to get beat on and shit. Like, I'm a young black boy with single mama. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stand up for shit like that. I, it was no shit like the shit they be saying going on. Yeah. I can for sure say that. The news gonna always make the You dig what I'm deals. saying? Yeah. So but he, I done also worked though, so I know how both ends go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is everything that happened was a million percent voluntary and it wasn't nothing for us. I, I mean, I... Period. Really. Okay, so, um, and you said, uh, shout out Boosie. Do you ha have you and Boosie ever linked up? Boosie, my nigga. What? I, hey, y'all gonna make sure right now you go. Well, after this interview, watch this motherfucker. After you get through, watch Rap Life Solo Lucci featuring Boosie. Me and Boosie got a video out. Rap Life. That's my nigga. Man, like, so, that's one of my close friends. That's dope, man. Uh, I so, be at his house. That's my nigga. How did you meet him? How did you meet him? Oh, uh, I actually I met Boosie. Um, I was in LA at the studio and uh I was in the studio with who I was working with. I forget who I was working with, but long story short, Wack 100 was there, the blood nigga. Oh yeah. Wack 100 was the, I know Wack. See, uh I fuck with Wack cuz I used to live in LA. But I made a lot of money in LA. Millions of dollars spent millions in LA. And uh when I was in LA, one time I was leaving the wars or something and and Wack always we always had a cordial relationship. But this the day it kind of took a change. Uh, he was in his car. He had like a, a, a Rose Rush or something. He had his family in there, his kids and his wife. And uh, he had the top down. And his kids, his wife, one of them noticed me. And they was like, hey, hey, boo, boo And he was like, I guess he told them he knew me. And he called me over there. And I'm a crip. He know me from Big U and some more other yeah. people. But, like, I don't really got to just, and you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's always with nothing but love between me and Wack. Like, Wack. Always, whenever he seen me, it didn't matter cripple blood or what. He was just being a real nigga. Yeah. So she, he was like, I think his wife was kids. Somebody knew me and they wanted to meet me. And I pulled right up on him and fucked with him. And it's like he appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? And and he appreciated that. So when we got in the studio one time with Boosie, it, was, it even got to this point. One of his blood partners was like, man... Y'all got this nigga in the studio, woo, 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 woo. And Wack came in, I'm like, bitch ass nigga, if I said he in there, he in yeah, there. Man. He with me. That's on my mind, that's a fact. I gotta give him that. Man. He checked his own little set, cause I'm a crip. Yeah. He checked his own set about me. It was like, nigga, if I said he in there, he in there, nigga. And that's kind of how I ended up getting a song with Boosie. 
Wow. No so, cap. but but he would he he. I was Blueface, really in there with Blue, Zoe Dollars. I was doing some shit with Zoe Dollars. Okay, but Blueface is one of, is is uh, he managed Blueface, mm-hmm. right? So this was way before. But that. I'm just saying, you know, so he got a kind of you know. This, but I never knew. This, like I said, this was way, way before, before that. that. You didn't know whack for fuck with no Chris when I'm talking. Okay, shit this is when they per- Yeah, this is way he before. Was when that. nobody knew about Blueface okay. or none of that shit. This when he was out there knocking niggas out about the game and did, like you feel me, the white boy that he. Knocked Knock down all that old other type of shit. Yeah. This was them times. So. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.